Welcome to Grimsley High School. In this tour, students will guide you through the classroom buildings of our school and give you tips for navigating our campus for the first time. Main House has more classrooms than any other building. If you're not headed to this building, you're probably headed through it or around it to get to your next class. On first floor main, you will find the main office, attendance office, and Chance Cousins Auditorium, as well as classrooms 100 and 102. On second floor main, you will find classrooms 200 through 217, and on third floor main, you will find classrooms the Chance Cousins Auditorium is named for two composers who were employed at Grimsley High School under the Composers in Public Schools Initiative by the Ford Foundation. Both men wrote several pieces for the Grimsley Concert Band, the names of which can be seen in the main building on their respective plaques across from the auditorium entrances. This auditorium is where classes gather for assembly throughout their time at Grimsley. It is on the National Register of Historic Places. To get to Old Science from Main Building, you will pass through five points, an intersection of five paths at the center of South Campus. It will be important to maintain social distance, especially when traveling to class in crowded pathways. We've lengthened the time of the class transitions to allow you to wait for others to pass in heavily trafficked areas. The Old Science Building is where you will attend science and math classes. Rooms 400 through 410 are on the first floor, and 411 through 417 are on the second floor. Hey guys, I'm Susanna. I am a student ambassador and a junior class representative. So, New Science Building was built with open concept, and here you will find eight classrooms, room 420 through 427. And a little fun fact about new science to avoid some of the cluster that sometimes happen at the front doors on the left side of new science on the left wing, there's another door. Um, so depending on if the teacher, of course, is unlocking it between class changes, you can enter and exit through there. The Bradley Bird Cafeteria is the newest building on campus. It is named for two Grimsley alum who are still very active and very present on our campus every year. This year, the cafeteria will be used as class space and lunches will be served in the classroom. As you are walking through the plaza on your way to, towards the cafeteria, you'll notice a mural that was painted this past summer. It is a commemoration and tribute to Josephine Boyd, who was the first African-American student to attend Grimsley in 1957. Hi, my name is Sanaya and I will be introducing to you the Home Economics Building. The Home Economics Building was constructed in 1956 and it once held true to its name, holding large open classrooms and kitchens. They were used to educate Grimsley students on the realities of life beyond high school, including childcare with Grimsley's kindergarten class, cooking, and mock weddings. Now it holds just four classrooms in the exceptional children's department. On the first floor is Mr. Wade's history class, and on the second floor are the health science classes along with Mr. Peace's history class. The Library Media Center will be home to classrooms this year. Ms. Fitz's math classes will meet here along with Mr. Weeks's class and also room 970 and 971 are in the front entrance of this building. Library services will be offered virtually through the Library Media Center Canvas page. The first floor of the old cafeteria was completely renovated to make room for modern classrooms. On the floor, there are four adapted classrooms and two art classrooms. The Grove is a central outdoor feature of Grimsley High School and where many of you will enter campus each day. It's used for informal meetings, outdoor classrooms, and community gatherings. It's a great place to talk to your friends before class.
The next stop on our virtual tour is the music building. Vocal music and orchestra classes are located on the second floor and band is on the first floor. Hello, I'm Grayson Rainwater and I'm a junior at Grimsley this year and I've had class in vocational every year. So it is located on the north side of our campus right with the bus lot and it's home to our world language classes and our career and tech classes. Rooms 800 through 805 are located on the first floor and rooms 860 through 867 are located on the second floor. If you're taking carpentry, JROTC, computer science, or Spanish with Ms. Martinez, then you want to enter the building at the front lawn entrance. Boys, if you have to go to the bathroom, you're going to have to go outside, usually to the music building. And on our breezeway, which is our second floor entrance, it is a single door, so you really want to be mindful of space, especially right now. The Wi-Fi isn't great. Um, for a little bit in the 1950s, Vocational was actually home to our very own radio station, which played music and ran top whirly news stories for students. Good luck, y'all! This is Whirly Country is painted on the side of the aux gym. This was the original school gymnasium and the weight room can be found in the lower portion of it. This building is now used for taking school pictures, blood drives, indoor sports practices, and art shows. This year, Miss Thomas's history class will occupy the only classroom in the building. What's up guys? My name is Genesis and let me tell you all a little bit about our Jameson Stadium. So Jameson Stadium hosts some of our sporting events such as football and soccer, which I play. One thing I love about playing soccer in Jameson Stadium is how big the stadium is, hearing all the fans cheer for us, and hoping that we bring home a win. So I would encourage you all to come out to some of our sporting events and just have some fun. Go Earlies! This concludes your virtual tour of the Grimsley campus. I look forward to learning with you over the next four years, Whirly. Let's begin.